Hickok45 here. Glad you get to see me today. Actually, I'm glad I get to see you today. I see you sitting there watching, so we're gonna do a video on this rifle. I know you have been dying to see the LWRC again, and so I've been dying to shoot the thing again because it's a great rifle and I just wanted to get it out. I knew you'd be mad if I did not invite you to the table, to the range today while I have it out. So I'll link, I promise, to the first video, maybe even the, the uh, range two video with it, but thought we'd do a chapter two with this thing. I have not fired it for uh, a few weeks and it's uh, feeling lonely. So I thought I would. And uh, so this is the 6.8 A5, the 6.8 Spec 2. And uh, many of you already know, but of course we have thousands of new people in, come in every day. And this is a little bit different cartridge. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's an intermediate cartridge, kind of like, uh, in a way, the AK-47 round, I guess, 7.62 by 39. It's kind of not exactly like that, but it's between the 5.56 and the 308. And uh, I will, again, link to the first video where I talked about a lot of that and how it came about, the cartridge. I didn't tell you everything you might want to know about it, but uh, how uh, you know some actual soldiers and vets came up with it and trying looking for something a little bit more effective uh, than the 5.56, at least at intermediate ranges. It's not necessarily a thousand yard cartridge and it has its limitations too, as they all do. It's not a 6.5 Creedmoor, you know, but it's also not in a firearm as big as what the Creedmoor, you know, takes generally. So that's what I like about it. It's in this uh, basically an AR-15 size, you know, platform. And I just had it apart here, thought we'd start like that. Just uh, the LWRC again is just a well-made uh, rifle. Apparently we've not had any trouble yet. We might today, we might today. Again, this is one I just purchased. Well, I didn't just purchase it, but I purchased it, okay? <laughs> and uh, as, as part of my collection. And I, I, I still see it as a kind of replacement for my SCAR 17. I, I just like this cartridge. I like this size firearm better. And there may be some others that come along I like better. Who knows? Not that I'm jumping from round or cartridge to cartridge. You know, I'm not planning to go to, to battle or anything. But it's just a nice one. It reminds me of the AK round in a lot of ways. And speaking of that, you know, the new hot cartridge. There's always a new hot cartridge. The uh, 224 Valkyrie, you may have read a little bit about and, and seen some. It, uh, it, you, it's basically the same case. Okay, I think it's just neck down a little bit more. And... Uh, these magazines that uh, Magpul makes for the LWRC, they're a little bit bigger. I showed you in the first video. They're a little bit bigger than a standard 5.56 magazine and in order to still hold 30 rounds and, or 20 or whatever they're supposed to hold based on the size. But they, uh, they're perfect for that round as well. And so more and more uh, firearms manufacturers are making firearms for the uh, Valkyrie, the 224 Valkyrie. And so I mean, anyway, things are always changing and evolving, aren't they? Let's just shoot a little bit. I've got a couple kinds of ammo here. I've got the standard American Eagle, uh, 6.8 SBC, and I've got some fusion. And you know what? I'm going to put that fusion in first, I think, and shoot some things. Now, I don't, it's in one of the short mags, yeah, the 20 round mags in there. Uh, I don't, I don't know there'd be really be a lot of difference. Uh, the velocity on it is uh, supposed to be the muzzle uh, 2470, okay? 2470. So we'll see if it really feels like 2470, okay? And take a few shots. Well, I probably should put my ears on. And maybe I'll shoot a few jugs here since I've got the, the fusion. Again, I don't know that it's gonna blow up like crazy, but uh, let's just shoot a couple of those. Well, it blew it up. <laughs> it took a, wow. <laughs> I like the way it split it. Let's try that Kentucky two liter. <laughs> Took care of that, didn't it? Well, while we're in the two liter mood, let's go over there to that two liter on top of that post way over there. Well, not way over there, but that's about 50, 55 yards from here. <laughs> Took him right out. I tell you what let's do, let's take out the uh, fusion. I've got one in there. Let's go ahead and put it on a plate. Ooh. So, 
My guess is the firearm is empty. I'll lay it on top of the fusion so I know what I'm shooting. Okay, so it said those were, uh, what did I say, 2470? Was that it? Yeah, 2470. They, I, I don't believe it. They felt more like 2482 or 83 to me. But anyway, that's what it says. So it's probably empty. Uh, pretty brilliant there and a uh, brilliant deduction. So let's try some, let's get a bigger magazine and shoot some of the American Eagle. While it's fresh on my mind, or fresh on my shoulder, I'll see if I can tell any difference. Oop, I didn't slam it hard enough there. Okay, let's take a couple bowling pins out. <laughs> okay, I can't tell a lot of difference. I'd estimate probably about 2,400 and maybe 40. 45 feet per second on these. I'm not sure. Let's try some red plates. Nice trigger. Wasn't ready. Yeah. Try that middle one. And the little one. Yeah, sight's right on. Who set that sight? Oh, that was me. Oh, <laughs> knocked the target stand down. Try the middle one. Boom. Feels good. Uh, let's do a little pot smoking here. First, let's put a couple on the target. Now, let's smoke some pot. <laughs> There's a little bitty piece there. There we go. Got it. Oh, man. Oh, there's some uh, 12 ounces there on the stand. Nice, nice. I'm going to go to the left red plate over there. Got him on the last round. You can see it's empty. See the red follower in those magazines. That's, that's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. So, so, so we were talking about before the video how... It's really an AR, it is piston, so it may be a little heavier, not a lot, than a standard AR, but about the same. And uh, and uh, that you can tell you're shooting something besides a 5.56, a little more punch. And that's why you would buy it. You know, it's more like an AK round, you feel a little more punch, but, but not a lot, just a little bit. And uh, it has a little bit different recoil, partly because it's a piston system, and then because it's a little hotter round, you know, heavier round than uh, 5.56. It's, it's weird because it, uh, I, when I fire this, you know, if you've been shooting a long time, whenever you're empty, you can just tell right away. You can tell by the feel of the recoil, uh, the bolt locks back. You know, any experienced shooter generally can just tell that right away. And it's weird because of the, I guess, the piston system, the round, I'm not sure what it all is. But I catch myself thinking it's it's malfunctioned or it's empty too soon. You know, the bolt stayed back. It, 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 I don't know what it is about. It's just a different recoil with the firearm. I mean, it's not a problem or it's not annoying. It's just a little bit, a little bit different. So, so pretty neat and it's fun, fun to, fun to, to shoot. The, this has become a, a popular round and even this gun, I think, to, for some people. But this round for hog hunting. Uh, you know, hog hunting, wild hog hunting has become quite uh, an endeavor, a sport, whatever you want to call it. You know, especially Texas and different states where there are a lot of those things uh, proliferating. So it's just a nice little round, you know, for that, uh, for hunting. And of course, that's one reason they are such a popular platform. There's so many different chamberings, and you know, whether it's 308 or the six point, what the, the Grendel. Uh, the 6.8, it's just all kinds of rounds for it now, the Valkyrie, that a lot of people just prefer this platform, you know, and for hunting, you know, it's so versatile, so versatile, adjustable stock, and, uh, and all that kind of thing, you know, the anti-gunners would like uh, to think that anybody who buys something like this wants to go to war or something, you know, they're having these fantasies, whereas it's, uh, it's it, you know, if you have a healthy mind, I mean, it's just fun to shoot it, and it's a great hunting rifle, you know, as well as a defensive rifle, but there's so many people to hunt with these now. And uh, back, what, 20 years ago, you didn't really see many uh, things other than the standard AR-15, I guess 5.56, and then the AR-10, you know, there were those around. But boy, nothing like what you have today. I mean, every size, weight, configuration.
it's uh, pretty cool. By the way, we do also appreciate the people from vault there helping us out and the uh, little safe there. I was going to put this gun in that safe and then open it up and get it out, but I don't know, John said that probably wouldn't work so well for some reason. And I took this apart in the first video, so I won't do that. You just take the upper off there and you can see the gas system. Take the gas uh, piston apart. Very simple to clean. And uh, uh, again, the since it's simple to do, I'll open this up. The uh, totally ambi. The, uh, the thing that's really hard to get used to is the bolt after you fired, like normally with a direct impingement system, you have that thing would be covered with carbon. But it's basically exactly as it was when I started, when you saw it lying here on the table to begin with. And that's always kind of weird. For those of you not familiar, you know, this, the, the big difference between direct impingement and then a piston-driven you know, AR-type rifle. Uh, so you don't get all the stuff blown back into the bolt. And uh, it's just really different. It's uh, hard to get used to that, staying clean like that. So, but you do have to clean up here. They're still cleaning. You can't cheat physics. There's going to be carbon uh, uh, deposits somewhere. So they're up here in the gas system. And uh, but by and large, I think generally, if you had to go for you know whatever two years and not clean the firearm, uh, a piston-driven gun probably is going to uh, last longer uh, without cleaning. Uh, I think that's the general consensus, right? So I still haven't been able to get the barrel straightened back out. It's it's hot now. Of course, we're clear, right? We're totally clear. Let's pull the trigger, okay? We're totally clear because uh, I'm going to put my hand out here. I tried and tried to re or untwist the barrel, and I, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to have to do it when it's really, really hot, I guess. Get some leather gloves on and straighten it back out. Get that twist out of it. So we'll shoot a couple more times. I just wanted to get it out and shoot it again. And uh, I've had some of you all really get mad at me if I confess uh, to have had a rifle out without your knowing it. You know, I'll answer somebody on Facebook about that. Yeah, I shot my water the other day again. I just noticed, I noticed that too. And they, what? You shot it and we didn't see you do it. So I don't want to make you all mad. Uh, <laughs> we have enough internet trolls, right, as it is. So let's put a round in here and shoot something else. If there's anything left. John, did you load that magazine? <laughs> this is kind of nice, ambi. There we go, clicked in. I usually load them down one, uh, and that was probably me. All right, they're much easier to uh, insert. I do like the ambi uh, aspect of this, other than the safety, I'm not crazy about that, but being able to, you know, just with my trigger finger, drop the bolt like that and then shoot something over there like this you can see it hits a lot harder than a, a 5.56 five, that's a fairly heavy plate that's swinging so let's hit the middle one And you do have more punch, but I'm going to shoot this barrel. You can still, you, know, you still have good control of it, uh, you know, to, to rapid fire if you want to. And let's rapid fire into this uh, two liter here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, what else over there? You know, I'm going to take a chance. I, I don't think it'll hurt. I'm going to shoot the turkey up there on top. It's hard, pretty hard steel. Boom. Put him down. And I'm going to, let's see, that, that pig, the two pigs are fairly hard too. I'm going to shoot them. I might change my mind once I see where they hit. But. Okay, so that, well, let's go ahead and shoot the rams. They're the same steel. So you see how everything went over uh, pretty much with authority. Now, the rams sometimes don't go over with authority, even the 4570, but the other ones just boom, right on down. So a lot harder. Uh, I probably wouldn't shoot them with a 5.56, but they definitely wouldn't be going flopping over that quickly. So you do have a little more punch there. Oh, there's a uh, cinder block over there on that barrel or two. Yeah. 
Nice. Now they did feel empty. Yeah. There's that red follower. Yeah, I like it. I like the sight. Uh, did I remind you? Uh, yeah, again, I did replace the stock on it. I put a better stock on it. Mission first. And then uh, the, I put the uh, Micro T2 uh, aim point on there. And uh, other than that, that's the way it came. Yeah, it came with the sights, the LWRC sights. Didn't it or did it? You know, now I don't even remember. I think it did. It came with the LWRC sights. I might be wrong. I had a set of LWRC sights. I may have put those on too. Uh, but uh, like I said, I don't get it out enough. You know, I forget about it. And uh, it's it, it might be my favorite AR. It really might be. Uh, nice round. I like that round. I mean, people argue over what's the best round, the new rounds that have come out. There's no better than a 5.56 or, or the 6.8, the, the ultimate round or the Grendel or the Creedmoor. You know, what is the best round? Uh, the Valkyrie, 224 Valkyrie. So the, the truth is they all uh, have their purpose. They all have a niche and they do something better than the others probably when it comes right down to it. Uh, and it just depends on what your purpose is. If you're gonna hunt, and what you're going to hunt, that kind of thing. Or if you're going to Afghanistan with it or just whatever the, the need is for the, the cartridge and, and the rifle. So anyway, 6.8, I still like the round. I don't claim this the very best of all time but i like that round because I, I as i've said before i like an ak i like the ak round the 762 by 39 that is and it's a little bit like that for me it's 115 grains and it's got some punch and it's coming out of an ar which is very comfortable in a lot of ways more comfortable than an ak and more ergonomic uh more user friendly in a lot of ways and uh but i do like an ak you know that so anyway, a little more fun. Chapter two here uh, with the LWRC 6.8 A5. Pretty cool uh, firearm and uh, very effective in that, in that round. Glad you all came by after all. Now you won't get mad at me for getting it out and shooting without you. So we appreciate you supporting the people that support us. Ashland City Armory that takes our guns in, you know, their FFL uh, force and uh, over in Ashland City, Tennessee. Appreciate their help and everybody that helps us. Mostly we appreciate you all coming to watch and uh, that's, that's the best part. Life is good. Hey dad, we throw me another pot? All right, cool. Yeah, I'm just setting up here for another video. Wanted to remind you guys to check out our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can get certified in gunsmithing and get an associate's degree in firearms technology. They also accept GI bills. So check them out over at sdi.edu. And also check out our friends at vaultexsafe.com. You've seen the pistol safes on the, uh, the, the main shooting table in some of our videos. So check them out if you need one of those. And also go to hickok45.com and you can find basically everything that you need to know about us. You can see all of our various supporters over there and stay up to date on uh, our Facebook pages and uh, Twitter, Hickok45 on Facebook, the real Hickok45 at Instagram. Uh, there's also the Hickok45 and Sun YouTube channel, all that kind of stuff. And full30.com, we've got videos over there. So just go to hickok45.com and that's where you can basically find anything else you need to know. And also our store, don't forget that.